Let's begin with the good news. I found my composite to four pole, three and a half millimeter adapter that I need to plug my Super Nintendo into my fancy OLED TV. Wish I had a frame meister, but this'll do. The bad news is five minutes before we started filming this, I tripped on this cable, knocked my SNES off the coffee table and cracked it here and here. And now it makes this noise. The good news is that whether you have working hardware or not, Analog is launching their Super NT very, very shortly. So it is a great time to be a retro gaming enthusiast if you're into the SNES. And we have the perfect tool to make your experience complete. This is exactly what it sounds like. The SD2 SNES. It takes this and adapts it to this. Zotac's Mech 1 PC is an ultra slim desktop built for gaming, featuring a sleek robotic styled design. Check it out now at the link below. So on first glance, there's really not a lot to this guy, but as we dig beneath the surface, a lot of thought was given to the tech that's gone into it and compatibility. So it should be a complete, well, near complete, one size fits all. So on the subject of size and fit, you can see it is shaped like a Super Famicom cartridge, but it has the tabs for the North American region version. So what that means is that it will fit universally in any SNES or Super Famicom without any modification whatsoever. This SD card slot has near universal compatibility, so they don't have support for XFAT yet, but it supports up to SDXC and they've tested up to 200 gig cards in here. So it should be pretty much format FAT32 and go. It can't take full advantage of the speed of those high-end SD cards, mind you, but ROMs loading at nine megabytes a second is pretty good. And they claim that menu navigation is snappy on the high resolution, 512 by 224 menu. Oh yeah, baby. It's got real-time clock support. It supports ROM sizes up to 128 megabit, though only 96 is implemented right now, because uh, nothing bigger than that has ever been produced. And they claim it will operate totally seamlessly regardless of region. So 60 Hertz and 50 Hertz. And it's got a super CIC, or as I like to call it, super sick. I don't know if anyone actually calls it that, but it's got a reverse engineered super CIC chip inside of it. So you don't have to worry about any anti-piracy. You can run it on a non-modded console from anywhere. Building out your SD card is pretty straightforward. You just need to format it FAT32. It supports up to 16,000 files per directory and you have to select compatible ROMs. It is enhancement chip compatible, though it should be noted that Star Fox, I know you were gonna ask that, Star Fox is not supported. Not that enhancement chip. Let's fire it up. Oh, does it work? I don't see the light on. Oh, that sucks. Oh, hey, hey, lights on. Okay, hold on. Wow, that looks terrible. Thank you. Thank you, built-in scaler. Let's see if there's anything we can do about that. All right. Well, controller me. So whether you're using an 8-bit dough wireless controller or an original one, you just navigate the menu like this, and then uh, what, what, what do I, what should I, what should I do? Sure. That and I own Super Mario World. I don't know if I could legitimately say the same about everything we are scrolling through right now. Huh. Wow, that loaded really fast, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. You wanna play? Sure. You know what? I'm gonna be a dick. And I'm gonna do level two first so that I can get the Switch Palace. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh! Uh, input lag. Oh, there is. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. If I was gonna show off my skills, it would be on this level anyway. No, this is not good. Not good! Oh, come on! Had enough of your bull crap, Anthony. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> and I'm standing right on... Oh, how you like that timing? Oh, no, no! Take that! No! That's fine, plenty of time for a comeback here. 
Yeah, get back, get back, get back over here. Get back over here. Oh, oh shit. Oh no! Okay, so that's pretty much the experience with original ROMs, but we're heading into the MSU1 Enhanced folder where there are actually a few games that we've got here, like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. See that? That's a 15 meg ROM. That means CD audio. Cool, huh? You know, we treat unskippable cutscenes like they're new, but they're actually not. So something that people should know before they buy something like this is that it comes with none of the feeling of actual ownership of owning original cartridges and none of the benefits of emulation because it's not emulation. You're just running the original ones and zeros that were on the original cartridges on the original hardware for basically the original experience, unless you were using modified ROMs, like this Chrono Trigger one, for example, that has this slick animated intro. So that's pretty much it. At $200, it's not cheap. Plus you provide your own SD card. But if you're an enthusiast, let's say for example, you've got a really large cartridge collection and you A, don't wanna wear them out, or B, don't wanna hassle around with finding them and plugging them in and unplugging them, this is the way to archive your entire library in one place and get the actual, genuine, original experience of the original software on the original hardware. And don't let the uh, early 2000s inkjet printed label fool you. This is the real experience. Let us know actually in the comments too if you guys would like to see more of this kind of like retro emulation type content. We haven't really touched on it much in the past. Speaking of the real experience, Squarespace is the way to have the real experience building a website easily, quickly, and beautifully. You pick one of their gorgeous templates, add your own text, images, or whatever navigation you want, the whole thing is managed through the cloud, and boom! You've got a reliable website for just a few bucks a month. Squarespace has tons of great features like their logo designer, the ability to publish on your blog through Apple News format, and the inclusion of an online store with every one of their websites. So why wait? Go to squarespace.com LTT. We're gonna have that linked below and start building your website today. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.